That's a 40 inch vertical at 59 years old. What was I doing when I was 25? You gotta maintain cat-like reflexes even in old age. Today I want to speak to you about a website called worldfitnesslevel.org where this uh, has a calculation um, where it tests your physical fitness age. They have these tests on YouTube uh, talking about uh, biological age um, versus chronological age, but there's also physical fitness age, okay? Like biological age where there's a, there's a formula where you put in your cholesterol level, um, uh, different biomark, different blood biomarkers like um, uh, C-reactive protein, uh, uh, HbA, uh, AC1, and a, a few other things, and, and then it gives you your biological age. In other words, if you're 15 years younger than your chronological age, if you're older than your chronological age, which is your birth date, okay? This one here tests your physical age test. Physical age, which I believe is, I'm going to test it right now, okay? I'm going to test it on myself right now. Let me show you what I mean, okay? First, I put in what country. Um, it's already filled out. Uh, the city where I, uh, I'm from. Um, highest level of education. Okay, under four years. As you can see, and next step, step two of six. What is your gender, which I put? How old? Okay, my height, weight. Okay, my uh, maximum pulse rate, 220 minus my age. Okay, it's 162. Okay, step four is everything is filled out. Okay, how long do you work out each time? How hard do you work out? Step five, my waistline is 30 inches. It's inches. My rest and pulse rate is 41. My waistline is 30 inches. Let me put that in. In inches. Pulse rate is 41. Okay, now I go to step six of six. I agree to the terms and condition. And I hit show me the results. Okay, so the truth of the matter is you're 58 years old and your VO2 max is supposed to be 41, right? However, it shows that my physical fitness age is below the year 20 years old and I have a 59 VO2 max okay as you can see and here supporting this formula is also supported by a scientific study okay and um, you know I, I, I don't know how accurate this thing is but here's the study that is supported by uh, scientists from Norway a simple non-exercise model cardiovascular fitness predicts long-term mortality as you can see okay and um, they they went into deep deep details they, they did a cohort study on many people to the, to figure out this formula here and so you can use this so I mean I'm, not, I'm you know I don't know how accurate just like the biological biological age tests no one really knows how accurate they are but um, I will leave the link below so you can leave the links for everything, the website and this study, so you can look at it thoroughly. Okay, this inversely, uh, this you know, uh, cardiorespiratory fitness is inversely associated with all cause mortality. Okay, and this helps you live longer. Okay, and you know, the better fit, more physically fit you are, the longer you will live corners of this study okay and uh, as you can see here it goes right here and the conclusion is the method in assessing cardiorespiratory fitness is feasible and practically on the primary care for identification of okay apparently healthy individuals anyway look I you just look at the study I just wanted to show you my, what my physical fitness age is according to this formula um, as you can see the beginning of the video uh, I moved like a, a much younger than I'm you know I'm almost 59 and um, well 
maybe you could use this in conclusion okay to this video i want to say that to me physical fitness age determines your true age if you're younger or older not biological age this is my opinion okay biological age according to the, these studies or uh, these formulas you put in your blood biomarkers and if your if everything is perfect like if you have perfect cholesterol uh, perfect c reactive protein levels you know all those biomarkers if they're all perfect they claim that you're if you're 60 and they're, they claim that you're 20 years younger or 30 years younger or 15 years younger come on you're not younger you just if you, if you have good cholesterol level good c reactive protein levels good h uh, good glucose levels it doesn't mean you're younger it just means you're healthy okay if you're 60 okay I'm 59 and you move like a 60 year old okay if your body if you have the muscles because muscles uh, tendons ligaments fast switch fibers uh, your bone density okay that's all part of your bio uh, biology okay if those are not younger and you don't move run jump you have the energy of the VO2 max of a younger person. How can you possibly say that you are 15, 20 years younger biologically? To me, to me, those biological formulas are a scam. Again, that's my opinion, okay? My objective is for the rest of my life to move like someone half my age, okay? That's how you stay younger, okay? You have to move okay yeah of course of course you have to all those blood biomarkers of course you got to stay healthy everything everything with me is perfect uh, all my cholesterol everything is perfect okay but that doesn't mean i'm younger younger is when you can move like a younger person if you can't move like a younger person you're not younger that's just my opinion uh you could take it or leave it uh that's why i, I you know I, I try to do things that young young men do I, I try to stay fit like a like a 25 year old okay I mean that that's just what I do okay that's my opinion have a great day maybe you could use this website it's it's a little kind of reliable because it's supported by a scientific study and these scientists went out of their way to create this formula have a good day and stay young as always because I have every intention of moving like I did in this video in my 70s and 80s. Okay? People's most strong.